is it Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. I know it's Tuesday because we're going to pick up Gladiator. That's Cassie. And Hi. and Braveheart. <laughs> Braveheart. For the Father's Day special of movies. It's gotta be a it's gotta be a point to um like sell movies on Father's Day. Because like Braveheart and Gladiator just seem like an, a very unique choice to be like, we should put those out the week before Father's Day. Because you know people are gonna be out there going, I gotta get my dad something. I don't know, get him a movie. Like, well, what movie? I don't know. Let's just walk around Best Buy and find out. Look, they got Gladiator and Braveheart in the Steelbook. So just get him that. All right, no, you know, that's actually not bad. I'll get my dad that too. And then before you know it, they're, they're getting one of those movies. There you go. I imagine. I've always kind of got my dad like, I guess like a movie from the back in the day that he liked, but then I kind of realized like no matter what you get him, you try to go like kind of creative and, and try to get your dad something that's a little bit more modern, you know, something from a, a generation beyond his own. A generation beyond. Right? Get with the times, dad, try to give him, and no matter what you get him, they always kind of have like the same reaction. It's like every dad, they do this, they kind of go, oh, that's uh, that's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. It's pretty yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do, John? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it right there on that chair. I'm gonna put it right there in that corner. And it's gonna sit there in and the, in, <laughs> it's gonna sit there in the plastic, never to be opened. People, <laughs> people walk in and they see that in the chair on the corner and they go, oh, look, my son gave me that. Never opened it. So, since that, I, I gave up, I used to get my dad, uh, Beatle records, like vinyl. Um, and he used to like those a lot. Um, cause you know, he was like nostalgic and he had like the vinyls when he was a kid and like the vinyls, if you guys don't know, like back in the day, were kind of like when you would get a CD when you were a kid, um, cause they would have like the, like the artwork inside, like but giant ones inside the size, the size of a vinyl. So like they'd be like these like fold out pages and it was like a whole little, it's like getting like a little booklet. So that, that was like half the draw for my dad. So I got all the original Beatle albums every every holiday and it was great because the Beatles had like 10 albums <laughs> so like that lasted me a while um, and then after that like like I said I, I started to get like creative and get him stuff that I thought he would like and would just kind of like never be used never be never be worn I would get him like a a nicer shirt that would be a little more modern and maybe he tried like wearing it once like when we went out to dinner he'd be like hey John I'm wearing the shirt <laughs> We're going out to dinner and I'm wearing the shirt. <laughs> um, but for the most part, like that never worked. So what I got in the habit of doing would be like to just make him, um, not make him, but like I would, I would <laughs> do it, Dad. <laughs> I would just like size him up and be like, all right, he's always wearing this gray polo shirt. He's always wearing, or like he had like this like forest green polo shirt, um, and then he would wear like cargo shorts. So I would just kind of like look around and find clothes that he would wear a lot. And if I noticed ones that like started to have like holes in them, I would just go and like rebuy those clothes new. And he fucking loved those. He's like, these are great. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm like, this is way easier <laughs> and sometimes even cheaper than what I was trying to creatively do yeah. by stepping up his game. Um, well, at least I thought, but he was, you know, the cement is dried. He's, he's, he is who he is. Um, so, so yeah, so I would have, if, if my dad had been alive today, I probably would have gotten him a new polo shirt and a new pair of um, uh, cargo shorts with pockets, uh, because I'm sure the old ones had probably already, you know, gone to hell. Probably get him a new pair of sneakers, you know, a nice pair of dad sneakers, like those white, white cut the lawn sneakers with the N for New Balance on them. You know, because the old ones are probably stained green from the lawn. You know, uh, and probably like a John Lennon album or something like that. I don't know. Because, you know, I probably, I don't know if I would have gotten him, not Gladiator. I loved Gladiator as a kid. He thought it was okay. He was very much the Braveheart, Braveheart guy. Okay. Which I was kind of like, I don't know, Mel Gibson, whatever. <laughs> um, you know, freedom, like all that crap. Uh. Uh, have you ever seen that episode of South Park where, like, they meet Mel Gibson and he just, like, prouncing around naked, throwing poop and, and... God. Yeah, and, like, he's, like, he's, like, I want you to come in here and, and, and torture me. And, like, he just, they, they just, they just show him to being, like, batshit crazy. This is, like, right after, I guess he did, like, The Passion of the Christ and then he did, 
like all that shenanigans where he got arrested and they just had like a right. field day with it. Um, and I can't get that image out of my head in South Park of him like prancing around and Stan and Kyle trying to run away. <laughs> um, and he gets like, because that's what he says in Braveheart. Okay. But they just make fun of him for it. And I, I just can't, you know. Um, you set yourself up for yeah, kind of yeah. ridiculousness when you go around just. Well my, my, well, my dad was like, Braveheart's great. And then, you know, my two uncles, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, were like, Braveheart is shit. You know, so as a kid, that's how you view it. Um, uh, but that's where we're picking up today. Um, no, hot, no hot new releases today. No. no. We've ran out of movies to, uh, yeah, we to get. Uh, which is weird. Um, we are doing a series that we're working on, which will be out soon we're watching all of the James Bond movies starting from the very beginning with uh Dr. No from Russia with Love and we're gonna we we're watching Caravan of Garbage uh where they were doing the the Bronson ones and we're like you know what we got some time we should cover all the Bond movies because I haven't seen them in forever and like you know I kind of think about James Bond going like well who's your favorite Bond and who's your what's your favorite movie and how do you rank them and like my dad was like was his was always um Sean Connery like my dad loved Pierce Brosnan. He owns like, say. yeah, but that's like, but that's not the guy he looks up to. Like that's, that's the not, guy he wants to kind of. That's not his bond. That's the guy he wants to like get a beer with and be buddies with. But that's okay. not like his bond, but he you know. Looks up to yeah, because that's because he was, I guess, closer to age to say my age when right. Sean Connery. Like that was his bond growing up. Right. Right. So, um, and I'm watching. You know, we, I won't. I won't get into spoilers on where we are in the. The, the Bondathon, but uh, Sean Connery, like, you know, looking at them again, really good. I, he's, he might be like my number two, uh, I'll be like Spectre. He's my number two. Um, <laughs> number two Bond, so. Who's your number one Bond? Uh, you'll have to wait and find out. Aw, man. Because <laughs> even I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's so secret, even I don't know. Well, okay, so I think, I feel like growing up, like, Pierce Brosnan was always my favorite, but then, like, I'm like, Daniel Craig's really good. But by that point, it was 2001 he came out with that. So I would have been, I don't know, a little bit older. And then, I don't, mm, they're different movies, kind of. It's kind of like comparing the, the Tim Burton Batmans to the, the Christopher Nolan Batmans. Right. Um, it's, it's, like, it's like apples and oranges. Because the, uh, the Daniel Craig movies take themselves way more seriously than the fun kind of campy Pierce Brosnan Goldeneye movies. I'm gonna go Brosnan though, just because I love Goldeneye. I, I mean, that's my childhood. That's my bond growing up. Um, but uh, Sean Connery, I think, is inching out Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig is just like an angry old man. <laughs> and like, which is funny, because in the first one, he's like, I don't know, like 32. He's not, he's really not old. Right. But he's just, he's got that old Clint Eastwood attitude of like, I hate you all. And I punch you in the throat, because I'm James Bond. Over. Punch you in the throat. I punch you in the throat. <laughs> All right, so we're back, and we have the two movies at the uh, Best Buy pickup. We've got Gladiator and Braveheart, 20th and 25th anniversary of those movies. Um, Cassie, you have seen pieces of Gladiator? <laughs> yes, I have seen some of Gladiator. And I don't think I've ever seen Braveheart, though. All right. So. Well, age before beauty, let's start with uh, Braveheart, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, uh, oh wait, I don't want to damage the slip cover. So, here we have Braveheart. He's very angry. His painted face. Yes, which is actually been one of those things that are not accurate at all. They didn't do face painting like that back in that time. Ooh, all the things. Just the J card plus stuff. All the things. And then what happens when. Oh, it's just a sword, oh, yeah. It's just a sword. Well, he throws a sword. It's, it's like a declaration of like war. Like there we go. There we go. What do you got on the inside? Ooh, Ooh three, three discs. discs. We have... That's the 4K. Right. That is the movie, Blu-ray. And the one behind it is special features. Oh. You got the 4K on the left. 4K. And then, the, I guess, like, one's bonus features, right? That one's the special features, and then this has the movie on it. All right, and then close it up again one more time. Do you not see those? Do you want me to take them out? Yeah, so let's them? see what's behind what's the, the behind CDs. behind the mask? Ooh, they may take away our lives, but they'll never take away our freedom. I like it. That's what he screams at the end. 
Not in the end. Well, probably probably, alert. probably alert. earlier on. No, that's like the tagline. So they might go. take our lives. They are very faded in very war. Faded. The blood has faded away. Desaturated. The blood has faded away. I, bet, I don't think that's even William Wallace right there. I don't know who that is. It's like his buddy. His buddy. His buddy. He's got his ass kicked. Well, you know, he got to give the guy some, some spotlight. And then flip it over. And then flip it over. And then we have him with this. He's very angry. He's, He's going to so war, angry. man. William Wallace. He also has the, the bravest of hearts. Oh, God. <laughs> he Cassie say. has not seen this movie. <laughs> What's it about? He has the bravest <laughs> of hearts. <laughs> it's right there in the title. I thought that would have been evident. <laughs> the bravest of hearts. I, I do what I have. <laughs> Alright, so that's cool. Let's check out let's check out the gladiator. Are you not entertained? Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Back in his prime. Before he, before he gained like eighty pounds. Well, you know. okay. I do like him in the nice guys, so that's a good movie. French. And then you got yeah, he was a savage. Savage. And then Very cool. We must show the the J card. My name is Gladiator. His name is Gladiator. That's what he tells him. Oh, that's I figured a, that would have been. Are like you not entertained? His job title. No, the Joaquin Phoenix is actually really good in this. Arguably better than Joker. You gotta flip up the J card. Yes, sir. Oh, look at that shit. He's going out. I, you know, I like that quite a bit. Look at that. He's going out there into the that's Coliseum. That's very cool. No fucks. He's ready for war. He don't care. He's gonna get that bloody revenge. And they're both. Oh, sorry. And they're both Paramount films. So there you go, side by side, and then flip that baby over. What do we got inside? Well, we have three discs in this one as well. All right. So yeah, this is very so, much a Paramount release. Theatrical edition and extended edition. Oh, I know it's on the inside. On this I'm one. excited. It's a tiger's baby. We have a tiger. We have the eye of the tiger. Go tigers! This is the feature film, the theatrical and. Uh, extended edition special feature. Oh, that's the Beaver What's the extended just version. Special features. I like it. I like it a lot. This brings me back to my like and early days of DVDs when they would give you a bonus Ooh. disc. Look at that. Look at that CG tiger. It's very cool. I like when they put a lot of effort into the, the right. artwork. And it doesn't even feel like they have to try that hard to do what this is. Like you just you just take a really cool scene from the movie and plop it in the background. Right. Just but some of them are so lazy about it. They're yeah. like, ugh. It's so frustrating. Think of the ink like, we'll have to use to... There are so many ideas in my <laughs> head that, like, you could have put into this, and you just didn't. And it makes me so sad. So, but with this, they did not spare expenses. Spared no expense. They, uh, like Jurassic Park. They did the things. So, that is glad you had all. I, I really like that back, though. Like, this is a steelbook they put some real effort into. Which I think maybe is the thing you see more with, like, the anniversary ones. Yeah. But I like that quite a bit. I guess they already know what the iconic scenes are once they've aged and people have been talking about them for decades. So what movie would, so, would you be more amped to watch first? I guess Gladiator, because I, I, it looks very action-packed based on the, the artwork. Um, and I don't really know too much about Braveheart, where I can kind of gauge what Gladiator would be about based on my learnings of ancient Rome. Well, they're both pretty, pretty good movies. Like, they both made it to Oscar night in different capacities. I don't remember exactly... I think Russell Crowe was nominated for like Best Actor. It's, very see-through. Like, you can see the word Gladiator on the back. Yeah, that's an FYE thing, which I'm not loving, but it's cool. But... FYE, though, you can see straight through the entire disc from the front, too. I don't like that. No. Like they're cheaping oh, out on the yeah. discs. On. It's won five Academy Awards. And how many has how many has Braveheart won? I don't know. No. <laughs> winner of no, uh, winner of some stuff. No not, not really. Academy Awards on the back of this one. So there you go. Let's get a side. Let's get them both up there. For wrap this you video the, up. You at the back. Oh, my name is Gladiator. I have five nominations at the Oscars. How many do you have, William Wallace? Five wins. Five wins. Five wins. <laughs> I I have freedom. I have freedom. I am William Wallace and I have freedom. I have five wins. You're fat. You're an anti-Semite. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Gladiator and Braveheart, everybody. I love both these movies. 
uh, let's try to leave out the politics that is Russell Crowe throwing phones and uh, Mel Gibson saying things that he will regret forever. These are both great films. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way art should be enjoyed for the art that it is, not the people that they become later. Um, what movie do you like? Let me flip the camera around. What movie do you guys like better, Braveheart or uh, Gladiator? Are you going to be picking them up? Are they going to be Father's Day gifts for your dads? Comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and guys, thanks for stopping by. I've been John, this has been Cassie, and you just got burned. We will see you next time.